If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. Man, these days we're getting a lot of Drake news and today I got some new stuff that Drake said that is again hinting at the release of Certified Lover Boy. You know, we had those pictures that we talked about in that last video that he posted on Instagram, teasing at what a time to be alive too, teasing at a rollout for Certified Lover Boy. And the other Dre, you know, Drake has been out in a about over the past couple of weeks again and recently during an interview he was asked if he was going to be there for the murder mook and reese summer madness um and then he kind of asked when it was happening and he was told oh by the end of the summer and his reply to that was oh yeah i gotta be there for that my album will be out by then too so this basically, you know, is him kind of very much as like a casual side note saying that CLB will be out by the end of the summer. Now what this exactly means, we're not sure. We don't have an exact release date yet. But just imagine, the end of the summer is probably around like August, I would say, or like early September. And if Drake says the album is out by then, that means that it's already out at that time. It's not coming out then. And he said it in that very casual like, oh yeah, my album's out by then too. So I'm guessing his album will come before that. Um, what this also means is, you know, leading up to an album, especially something as big as Certified Lover Boy, and we know that Drake put a lot of work into this, put a lot of, you know, it's very special to him. Academic set that he won't do a surprise drop because it's just a very special record to him. And, you know, people have a lot of expectations for this, considering the, the trailer that we got for it, which hinted at him going back to an earlier stage in his career, maybe reconnecting with some of those sounds and, you know, just styles he worked with back then. So fans are all here for it. We're excited. We know this is something that is going to go big. It's not just another big, you know, just kind of commercial project like Scorpion. But this is something that Drake actually sees as like his legacy, you know. So judging from that, we know that there's at least a couple of weeks of rollout before the actual album drops. We're still waiting to get some more singles. Uh, you know, we got Laugh Now, Cry Later last year featuring Lil Durk, which I thought was amazing. Um, um, but that's not going to be the only single that we're getting for it. I'm pretty sure because that came out last year. That hype has died down all the way. Um, I think he'll do it kind of like the Migos did it for Culture 3 where they dropped some singles the year before and then like a week or two. I think with the Migos and Straightening it was two weeks before uh, Culture 3 dropped. Um, they dropped Straightening and I think Drake is going to go the same route. Maybe Drake will do it even before that. Even, you know, maybe three or four weeks I can see that happening as well just because it is such an important and big album for him so let's assume we're getting a single four weeks uh, before CLB drops now with the single probably connected to it um, there's going to be an announcement for the album if not a week later but around that time you know and considering how it's already the middle of June and it's out by the end of the summer, that would put that single and release date very soon. And with release date, I mean that announcement that we're getting. Um, at which, you know, when you kind of calculate it through, when you look at the calendar, you kind of count the weeks, it could happen any day now. It could happen any week. And I think also connected to this, you know, Artists always, when they're leading up to release, they start hinting at it in these very subtle ways. And I think this comment from Drake was yet another thing that he knew people were going to talk about. Because uh, if not, then he would have not said it. I think he's very well aware of what, you know, those little comments that fans pick up can mean for all the speculations that happen after that. So I don't think this was unintentional. Drake knew what he was doing when he, like, dropped that, um, which, if, of course, holds a lot of weight for fans while we were waiting for this thing for such a long time. Um, again, I can only, you know, say it time and time again, but... This thing has been delayed for more than a year now. Um, I think we're all just starving for this, craving for this. And Drake knows very well that his fans are in a position of just 
kind of you know continued waiting and some have already given up some are saying he's pulling a Kanye on us but I always kind of stayed in belief that we're still going to get certified lover boy and the way he talks about it like this um it seems like it's really happening I know some people already gave up hope but you know he says that oh yeah my album will be out by then too so it's it's coming it's definitely coming um again connected with those pictures that we we got a couple of days ago on his Instagram where he said loading and that was the caption of it so that means that you know he's working on the album there's a rollout happening there's something coming very soon in the future i think the single might be released next week the week after but around you know around this time we should be getting something because that would only make sense in the context of you know this new information that we have cuz some people are saying oh is gonna drop in like fall winter which you know i know that drake's statements have not really you know held true in the past but by the way he just said it so confidently it it would just be weird if it didn't you know happen and come on it was supposed to drop last summer in 2020 then we waited for half a year until he announced that um, you know, oh, my knee injury prevented me from dropping it in January, so now I'm I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys later on this year. And with later on this year, even back then, I said that that you know it was probably not gonna be the end of the year. Um, I already guessed summer. I thought it was gonna be earlier. I thought it was gonna be May or June, but obviously nothing yet. But um, this really has me in good spirits that one of these weeks, one of these upcoming two to three weeks we'll get a single we'll get an announcement then it's just kind of like the time in between where he'll go on like interviews and do like a bunch of gq videos or whatever artists do nowadays go on like you know hot ones and all those all those things that artists do uh nowadays to promote their upcoming album um and in the process of that you know in the week that we're getting the album we're getting a track list we're getting the cover we're getting all that good stuff and yeah this could happen very soon i'm very you know now i'm very convinced uh, when artists are out there always dropping hints that's always something good that's always something positive so um i think that drake certified lover boy will drop uh, within like the next month um or like the next one and a half months because by then it should be out if it's supposed to drop before the end of summer um he said that last year i know it didn't come true but uh from this i think i truly think that this is actually gonna happen if not then he's just holding on for too long and disappointing fans and i don't think he intentionally wants to do that so yeah certified lover boy dropping before the end of summer confirmed by drake so um yeah let me know what you think about this do you think this is actually true do you think we'll get some sort of rollout process starting uh, sometime soon he teased that in those instagram pics we now got more info um i tr i really think so but um it's all up in the air we don't have anything yet so yeah let me know what you think about this in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.